again, it's been a minute, no. Minute, no, 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 no. Been like a year since. Yeah, that what I mean, it's been a year. But the deity has managed to drag us out of that hole that we were there I did insert. Not want to do any reaction. Well, not really want to do any reaction. Um, Busy schedule, busy, busy, not having enough time. You understand? So... We are, we are trying our best to get back to it, but the process is going to be really slow. But we have to take the time out to react to the deity, sir. That's yeah. a definite. And, and his new album, Telekinesis. All right. And we are doing a few recommendations. First, then we're going, going by order of the album. So, um, the tables. The tables, sir. And this is about 6 minutes and 10 seconds long. In real time, in Carino's time, this is... Six years and ten months. Six years and ten months. So this reaction is going to take about six years and ten months to complete. Yeah. All right. So let's get into it. Eight bars entertainment. To pray. Eight boy, let's go. go. We appreciate your attendance this evening. Black Book International proudly presents a Carino original. The table. The table. He was birthed into his wealthiness Never felt the need for help Was yet propelled in selfishness Anytime he came around His arrogance would fill the room Never guilt consumed He loved showing his silver spoon His lust for power crushed a lot of Sir, it's that It's that 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 one child That is born in riches, sir nah. So it doesn't feel as if He has to Be at anyone else level, sir it, Any Poor people, he just feel like he's the boss of everyone. Yeah. Alright, let's bring it back. Let's bring it back. That arrogant rich kid. The table. The table. He was birthed into his wealthiness. Never felt the need for help was yet propelled to selfishness. Anytime he came around, his arrogance would fill the room. Never guilt consumed, he loved showing his silver spoon. His lust for power crushed a lot of folks along the way. He never missed a chance to place his privilege on display. Felt like the level that he reached, no one was worthy to go. He loved to see others in lower subserving in roles. Was overpowered and controlled by wealth and blind and greed. Many people came to him for help in times of need Rejected all of them, his actions were ruthless and cold Totally unaware of what his own future would hold So to be losing control You never watch Game of Thrones, I said, right sir? No, I don't mean, I mean, I mean, uh, start watching it You have, a, you have a, 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 a kid that took over after his father was, was, was killed, I think because he was, the father died, the, 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 the father died, right? And the father wrote a letter that one of his good friends would take over as king until his son grew. Sir, none of that. The son took over, sir. That, that son is one of the most ruthless characters I've ever seen in any series. Maybe 12 to 14, maybe. 14, some other region there. He seems, but he was still a kid. My ruthless, sir. That carry you not know, just bring him to mind right now. Anybody here who watch Games of Thrones know, know what I'm talking about. That kid is ruthless. As the years flew, not even he knew what his fortune grew to be. His prosperity seemed to be moving in perpetuity. He pulled up to his newest vehicle, that's when his truth came. A homeless man approached him humbly, asking for loose change. He smirked at him, kept walking to his building, proceeded in. The homeless man looked at him, smiled, and said, we'll meet again. He looked back at the man, thinking... <laughs> So you beg for the money and you don't give for the money, man. So, Alright, you know what so we we'll meet again. No, but so, the, me have, no, sir, so me have sir, sir, Kia is <laughs> Kia. Sir, I believe where the story is going, he is going to end up poor. And that same poor man would be the one that reminds him that. Remember when you asked me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Alright, <laughs> alright, alright. Kia, come on, come on, Kia. 
when his truth came A homeless man approached him humbly asking for loose change He smirked at him, kept walking to his building, proceeded in The homeless man looked at him, smiled and said we'll meet again He looked back at the man thinking yeah right Then laughed like it was humorous, finished his daily task and went home that night He settled into his loft, isolated and closed off Put on his robe and soon as he grabbed the remote he dozed off When he rose up, what he witnessed astounded him Cause he found it the plush room that he fell asleep in no longer surrounded him, the scene was scaring him Time had been apparently traveling He woke up in a dark alley, incoherently babbling His clothes were old and tattered as how was mad at what's happening And passing men and women had no compassion, just laughed at him He looked and saw the building he owned But as he came on it, he noticed things had changed And it no longer had his name on it He ran inside believing in explanations required The first thought in his mind is that everyone's getting fired <laughs> Explanations required The first thought in his mind is that everyone's getting fired When he saw his employees, he angrily started chastising him To his surprise, he realized no one was recognizing him So nobody would listen His phone was even missing The authority he used to have was gone and non-existent Was this a nightmare he drifted in while he was living? He saw his new reflection and couldn't believe the vision He was on top of the world, now suddenly life was hard And as he pleaded for help, people treated him like a dog so, so you know when more happen, me don't want to be in this, none of this be real. It just be a dream when you wake up. Yeah, when you wake up. Yeah, it's a dream. It's yeah. definitely a dream. Yeah, so so when you wake up and say shit, you know, say me deal with people. Fuck yeah, up. yeah. So it is a dream. Day. It is a dream. Because it's all you just go sleep and then wake up, everything gone. You understand? It's not like you have been kidnapped. Or okay. anything like that. Okay. You understand? Maybe yeah. just this, be a... this, this, this how one, one of remind that for sure him say, yo, your needs will be a better. Enough. Yeah, man. It's one of those dreams. That seems real. <laughs> Holy whoop it is. Now, <laughs> here we have twisted things, sir. <laughs> Confused about the truth, he was living proof it was twisted Used to be popular, now nobody knew he existed He wandered through the streets feeling lost and feeling worthless He walked miles to his mother's house, a home that he had purchased When he knocked his mother answered, that's when all his hope fell through Cause when she saw him all she said to him was, may I help you? He said, mother, it's me, as he fought back tears harder She saw that he was bothered and offered a drink of water She said, I'm not your mother, you must suffer from a condition And sir, you're talking fool my son is in the kitchen Seconds later he saw something that he never expected When a son came in the room it was the Ah! Yeah. No, when, when his son came in our room, it's because I made say our son at the same old oh, man Oh, the beggar, the beggar, the beggar, the beggar, sir If it's the beggar, what? <laughs> sir, if it's the beggar <laughs> Yeah man, yeah man, yeah, yes. <laughs> Sorry, yes, that's make the, that make the most sense right now. I did I didn't see it coming. I didn't see it coming. It's a good your pause it, sir. I didn't see it coming. It's the bigger sir. <laughs> Father than offer a drink of water She said, I'm not your mother, you must suffer from a condition And sir, you're talking foolishly, my son is in the kitchen Seconds later, he saw something that he never expected When a son came in the room, it was the bomb that he rejected His demeanor was stoic and steady, tension was heavy He said, mom, I turned the oven off, the casserole is ready The mother exited slowly and no emotion was shown Now all of a sudden, it was just him and the man alone He said, what kind of spell is this that caused this 
tell him in He said the last time I saw you I told you we'd meet again He asked is this about the money I didn't give you back then Oh I get it since I turned you down This is about revenge No it's not about revenge Or envy and never will it be This is just a lesson in sympathy and humility I'm using this ability Cause I've seen you repeatedly Disrespectfully speaking Treat people the way you treated me Now you see and understand how it feels to be ruined And have the world viewing you as if you're less than human The punishment you earned it This brother came out with the food And saw the dinner table was crooked And so she turned it At that moment the other man's presence dispersed The greedy man began to feel time Rewind and reverse He was back in his suit His phone in his hand And his mother knew him Grateful and humble now Because of what was done to him Now he waited for the poor and disadvantaged to come Spent the rest of his days Trying to fix the damage he's done Show concern And luckily was able to learn that no matter how high you make it, the tables can turn. Uh. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. What if the story didn't end like that? from his mistakes so he continued mm -hmm. and then eventually catch up with him where he wasn't able to make the changes he should have here <laughs> here finish the truck sir please just finish the truck don't go in our next story sir please why why can't keep on doing them things here sir we believe everything is all right and yes we love the song as usual and we get the whole <laughs> hang on the story key want to go and and make the thing even more complicated so well on this so so you, so, you, so you can drop in one song or so <laughs> that's our two minutes this is our next full track ah <laughs> key the punishment you earned it his brother came out with the food and saw the dinner table was crooked and so she turned it at that moment he fully comprehended what had took place he dropped down to his knees and pleaded and with a shook face was asked if he was ready to return to his former glory he said yes i am i'll change right now if you restore me so the guy made it yeah, so that's the lie that's the lie that's that's like setu kaiba in Yu-Gi-Oh. Sir, never change. Never change. Set to Kaiba. End up, look deeply in his face. Then he told him, I've decided now to keep you in this state. What? He screamed, and in his first moment, he was able to learn that sometimes you never make it back when the tables are turned. Whoa. No. No. Yes. <laughs> Never make it back. Ah. Thank you. Ah. <laughs> sir, <laughs> sir, the deity decided to be ruthless in the last. <laughs> Sometimes you realize that you messed up, but sometimes it's just too late. <laughs> so by the time you realize you're mistaken you know, so I have a Yeah, it's just too late. Yeah. You, you know you mean good now, but why well, you had it and you just you squandered it. So yeah. you have to just live with the consequences. Yeah. Alright, first one fire. Ah this yeah, key and his storyline, sir. Key and his storylines. Alright. We've got to see why we're gonna jump into, right? On to the next one. Yeah, right. Oh, 